going to go buy <laughs> us a new pick em up truck. Maybe. Not a lot in inventory these days. Welcome back, Edel Campers. I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. We explore, experience, and educate. Because it's never too late to believe in yourself. Ain't that the truth? And, uh, but we found a used one 200 miles away, Phoenix, that has uh, the medium bed. Okay, we're at the dealership. Looks like they have the truck. It's sitting outside. We're going to take it for a test. All right, folks. Oh, hey, this is Sonny. I'm going to go buy your new truck. That's right. Let's go check it out. Sonny's going to hook us up. Yes, sir. So, you ate, I take it you made or hunted or killed uh, alligators, crocodiles. Oh, I haven't hunted them or killed them, but I've eaten them. You've eaten them? Yeah, you go to a restaurant and order gator bites. Huh? Yeah, yeah, really good. Real sweet meat. They seem, they seem pretty aggressive. I mean, if you hunt, not once you kill them, it's like Goldilocks would have picked this one. You got a spoon ride. I mean, you have the power that you need. It's not overbearing. It's super loud. I like the suicide doors. It's a big boy and a toy. Come on, Fred, it's time to do the big, dirty work. Saying farewell to little Bumblebee. I'm gonna miss her. And hello to Squirrel, which will be towed behind Moose. Fred has decided to weigh our truck before putting on the new pop-up camper. So we can be careful and cognizant of how much we load her down with. Oh yeah, I forgot he wanted to do this. Yeah. We're getting airbags tomorrow. We did build airbags here. We didn't know that. Um, I can ask if we have some stock. Yeah, do you want the, the 5,000s? Or the 3,000s? The 5,000s. Okay. Yeah, I can see if we have some in stock. Can we get those in? I, I've already ordered them. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got some and put them on. Or we, we wish we would have known. From uh. Because they're supposed to be put French on tomorrow. RV in Valley Verde. And you are? This is Gabe. He's going to be doing the walkthrough with you. I'm Brent. Nice to meet you, Gabe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Robert, he's Tom's here camper. at Tom's Camperland. He's the one that helped us with the sale. He's hooking us up. We're going to have a good time today. And yep. Gabe's going to show us. That's Gabe walkthrough guy. Hold on. Huh? We're at Candy Camp. Forget Robert. <laughs> Gabe is going to do all the work. Yeah, awesome. We're going to make Gabe a star. Yeah, I'll yeah. be the star. Yeah, a star. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll know everything you've got is in this kit, which I'm sure you've used on other units because you've owned an RV. We have? Oh, yeah. Good thing. You're seasoned then. Yeah. Okay, yeah, toilet paper. Toilet right, paper. paper. Sewer hose. Really hard to find toilet paper. And then you got two bio pouches. Yeah. Drop in your toilet to keep it fresh. All right. Water pressure regulator. Sweet. You familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Adapter, 30 to 110. Oh, there you go. Floor. And then a little sticky level if you want to put it on the counter or something. Oh, I know. Just mm -hmm. give you an idea. And then your fresh water hose. There you go. Sweet. So everything you need to basically essentially start with. Battery disconnect. All right. So right. Long storage, turn that off. That way it saves your battery from being drained down by the carbon monoxide sensor. Right. Little charge points if you want to jump here or put a battery tender on there to keep that battery charged. Mm -hmm. and that's where the battery is located, it's behind here in that foot panel right below above the bed. And where your seven round plug would go. So once we get that stuff built, we're going to have a pigtail that'll plug into here to really get your lights on on your unit. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right, right here, it's your city water connection right here mm -hmm. on that side, which I'm sure you're familiar with, mm -hmm. correct? All right. Just Always use that water pressure regulator when you hook up the city water. Mm -hmm. Well, your 30 amp power cord will go. Okay. All right. This is just for your sink. So when the sink fills up, you just uncap this and mm -hmm. let the water drain out. That's just where your sink's going to automatically schools down to the floor. Outlets, outside outlets. Cool. All right. Then your city, your fresh water fill. Basically, just fill it up with the white hose that overflows, and you're full. 
sure. You know the difference between city and park because you've owned it before. That's good. Mm -hmm. Do you have an outdoor shower in your other unit? Yes. We do. Do you actually do you use it? Yeah. No? We used to for the dog. But yeah, it's the same thing. For the dog. Hot and cold. Yeah. Climate controlled. For the dog if you wanted to. Or feet, shoes, whatever. Comes in handy. This is the back of the water heater. All right. Furnace vent for that. And these are just fridge vents, top and bottom fridge vents. Condensation tube. All right. And in here, got some storage in here. Cool. My storage area. Here, a propane tank. And it's full when it's on, so you can test your stove on the inside. Excellent. All right. And here's where all your braid and your black tank is. Mm -hmm. So you're familiar with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, close that. Yeah, close that one. <laughs> Yeah, make sure. Obviously black first, then the gray. All right. All right, ready to check out the inside? Mm -hmm. All right, after you. Pull your stabilizers. To activate, to activate this remote, turn this weight switch on, and then you can raise and lower your stabilizers. Okay, you see how it says select on here? Right. Okay, so right now we're on the rooftop tent. All right, so when you want to switch it over to the stabilizers, hold this down. This will turn green, and then it'll swap over to the stabilizers. Take a little bit. Now we're on stabilizers. Raise and lower them. Then all the way down, and then you can do each one individually. Driver, passenger, front and rear. Individual, up and down, or you can do all, When we load up in the truck, we'll do all of them all at once. And then when you want to switch back over to the roof, again, hold this down. So that turns red. So green for ground, red for roof. Red for roof. Simple as that. Cool. Pretty slick. All right, we'll leave it on there for now. Did you fit with your fridge cold? Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, so you got your on and off switch here for the fridge. And if right now they got it on gas, because we're not plugged in the shore power. But let me go, let me just cycle on gas. There we go. So we'll go to auto. So even auto, it automatically switch, you know, do its automatic change sure. between AC, DC, and then gas. Let me go plug this into shore power and see it change over from here, from gas to AC. Okay. Let me go do that real fast. I know we don't have power run to it. It did its change over, now it's on AC. And automatically. Do you want to leave it on or off for now? Uh, might as well turn it off. Okay. Let's turn that guy off. If you look above your head, when you push it in the middle, you'll have a light right there above you. This is going to be for your inside water heater. All right. Turn it on. Then you can set your temperature here up to 124 degrees, you know, Fahrenheit. Set so, it to 108. 108? You want 108 or 124? 108. 108. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about mixing it with cold water and wasting all that water. There we go. Once it comes out, you just use the hot water, but you won't burn yourself. Mm -hmm. So by your left leg is going to be where your heat is, all right? Thermostat. So we'll turn that on, put that on here. We'll Make get sure hot up in warm. here. And then your water pump switch for the water, right down there underneath mm -hmm. where your is right there. Sweet. A lot better than the igniters because you only get about 100 plugs at an igniter. Yeah. This never fails. All right. All right, so let's see if you got hot water now. This one's going to be hot. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Going up. You pull up the sink. Yeah, we'll off. We're not filling your sink up just yet. But you see in the building it getting hot, so. Yeah. Then you on or off switch. Then it'll always stay on unless you kill, you know, the 12 volt kill switch. The light will always stay on, just so you know. Check out your bathroom. And then all the way down, you give her a flush. And then, bye. See ya. And in here is where you keep the toilet paper. Toilet paper. Or so whatever you want to dry. You got four rolls. But then we'll run and we'll test your AC. Turn that on. And your thermostat control right here. We're going to make sure that gets... So it's going to, now it's going to be getting cool in here now. I'm going to open this up. You know, your wife screaming. You drop her lungs. You see it? If you don't do this, it won't, it will not suck like this at all. Something soft handled. Something 
Boom. Now, pull around the latch, all the latches. And you've got the front. So you can go in here. You can, you can turn this off. Uh -huh. Okay, now that's off. Still in a forklift for a camper shell, or it's a Kaiser camper there. Putting the back ones on. You don't need no stinking tailgate. We lost the cap, right there. Six inches, four inches, two inches. Whoa! A little bit more. Okay. 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 It's, this one's not, let me always use them, it's not long enough. You put chain in the rear, mm -hmm. but this won't, it's, it's not, it won't hook. Oh. oh no. Baby go under there and get it. One more to go. We gotta set up your camera. No, we're out of here. Then you guys are out. Well, your hand gets like tired. You bet. Well, I'm 400 turns. I'm just tired of looking at you. <laughs> just gotta get it in the hole one time. Okay, friend, you want me to get it? Huh? You want me to get it? I'm going to get a code to come in here. It's a 2020. I thought they were smaller than that. All right, we got our Blackhawk 2 all terrain tow bar. I don't think we'll be out four wheeling in that one, but maybe in that one. So it's kind of heavy, but it's not supposed to bind. We'll see. So, since we already have the hitch secured in here, all you have to do is slip it in, right? That's right. Slip it in. I'll lift that cord up. I think is a brake cable. Uh, yeah, but I don't think we'll be using that. We got the other one. There you go. Hard part done. 
just a little bit more about an inch. I stop. Might want it. Yeah, that's fine. By the time you put the key in, you can just pull it back. There, it's perfect. Back in just a tad. Right there. Oh, perfect. Slid right in. It's okay. And we'll just put that quarter pin right there. Spread those legs, baby. Stop it. Really? She's tight. Uh, probably take a while to loosen it up. There you go. Well, I like this. The pins have a tether on them. Oh, nice. Not that we've ever lost any of those. Mm, meh. Okay, Never, maybe right? three or four of them. Then usually, well, no, I was going to say usually me, but you've lost a couple too. No, never happened. Man, there's a lot of work to changing cars out near a yeah. full-time RVing. Why do we buy a new car? Because we want a Brocky.